successful once again from the former South African international. And then Bates had a moment, thought for a second, should I dive? And she's probably going to think I probably should have. Yeah, just was uh, escorting that to the boundary. And there she goes again, gets a little bit more of it this time. Easily clears Smith, easily clears the boundary. Ooh. Chances taken, sharp behind the stumps. Villani having been put down by Belinda Vaccarilla in the over before departs. And it's Sam Bates, the leading wicket taker for the Thunder with her first for the season. A little bit of purchase in the surface as well. And uh, Villani just dancing down the wicket. A lot of air given by Lauren Smith. She invites Lazelle Lee to go for it, and she certainly does that. You don't need to ask her twice. This one, just a bit of a pressure release. Very, very hard to bowl off spin, then becomes even more important with her slower balls. Well, head goes down straight away. She has not got all of it, and it's been taken. Annika Leroy on the boundary line. Chances, so... Uh, a nice little bit of a leg cutter there from Sammy Joe Johnson. Looking into the sun. Fantastic catch from Leroy. And the Thunder. Oh, she's been sitting back watching Lizelle Lee go about her business. This doesn't quite time it as Lee did clearing the boundary, but she's picked up her first. Air again and just holds her shape nicely, does Treneman. We've seen two from Lee. Treneman likes that style, yet she goes the offside for the maximum. Oh, picked up nicely. She's already hit one six. Let's make that two. One down the ground, one backward of square. Does any stand out? Um, we're going to have to pause you there, Molly, because, uh, yeah, sadly for you, the wicket has fallen. It was Belinda Vakariwa underneath it. Important one because they were just starting to get themselves set. Absolutely. No room there from Chloe Tryon. She bowled in some good areas. I mentioned that before. I think she's bowled really tight. She's got good shape on the ball and a, and a really solid catch down the... Goes the long handle, does Graham, and just falls short. Turns Leroy inside out as she sees it over the boundary line. We mentioned it last night as that's heaved away by Mignon Dupria. Alex Blackwell, you mentioned it. Stumped, is it? That's the question. We look to square leg umpire. The finger is up. Mignon Dupria departs. Well, international teammates. And it's Chloe Tryon who comes out on top. Up too often. Occasionally they have and they've paid the price, but they've been willing to then adjust their length. Tosses that one up. Carey, the reaction says it all. And that is why, because Lauren Smith camps underneath it, takes the catch to push on. Well, it was really obvious that Nicola Carey is really trying to get onto that front foot. So that's, again, smart bowling there from Sam Bates. Just held it up a little, had a field set perfectly in those sort of areas that the left-hander likes to hit. Um, so great work there again from the Thunder. Deep in the crease she wanted to. Very thick under edge as it goes out to Litchfield. Does Johnson gets the second? I think she might with the dive. Desperation on the last little bit there from the Hobart Hurricanes. They pick up two off the last ball. Let's to see what kind of uh, pace and bounce is coming out of this pitch. And the answer is not much at all, which gives Litchfield ample time. Chases a wide one. Strano goes with that wide positioning again. Litchfield says, well, I'll take the wide from the first and I'll take the boundary from the next. Beaumont looks to go up over the top. One, two, three, four. Yes, she's got it finally. Don't worry about the cap or the floppy. All the sunnies take it all off Elise Villani. You've got the first wicket. Canes, and they've got it through the leading wicket take over the competition. It is always funny when you, you have someone at the other end who's making it look so easy and you might be a little scratchy at your end and here Tammy Beaumont's probably trying to show a little bit too early. She had been pushing it through that onside and she's managed to hit a, <laughs> hit a, hit a catch to Elise Villani who's caught it on the fourth attempt. <laughs> so possibly a little bit unlucky there. Just on the circle. You can just be a little comfortable with it. 
That one skidded through. Is it going to clip leg? It is in her first game for the Hobart Hurricanes. Heather Graham has got the big wicket. Cross it probably could have just worked that through forward of mid wicket. Just tried to go a little square on that. And uh, you can see Lizelle lead directly behind the stumps there, which is a perfect position for a keeper to make sure the umpires know that that's exactly where the ball was going. Around the wicket, obviously height wasn't an issue as we see square. Leg stump is gone to pick up Kerry's 100th wicket in the WBBL. It's her 100th game. She's got 100 wickets and she's just the third player to pick up 1,000 runs and 100 pills as well. Brilliant work from Nicola Carey. Normal way that she would go about the game. You're looking to go to a favourite. And it's a like-for-like -like bowler at the moment in Nicola Carey. They had a sighter from Heather Graham, six deliveries. Looking to go up and over the offside and does it just, and probably a finger tip up over cover, and it trickles into the boundary. They need that and a few more. That's where she looks to go. That is Sky. There could be an opportunity. There is an opportunity, and it's Nicola Carey. You can't keep her out of the game. She's got her 100th wicket. She helps Molly Strano stay ahead of the chasing pack in terms of leading wicket takers in the competition. And back into the final few overs in this run chase. So another difficult catch looking into the into the sun. Chloe Tryon trying to target with the wind hitting to that. Looks to go big. We've seen it before in the WBBL from Sammy Joe Johnson, but it's not big enough this time. Graham parks herself underneath it. The two big hitters for the Thunder have gone. Pressure being put on the on the Thunder. Once it gets over that tent. 10 runs and over them. Had to be going for that sort of seven or eight overs in a row. It can get tough. She does. She goes big. She hasn't got all of it. And this time it's Molly Strano. So the boundary riders for the Hobart Hurricanes have been doing the job. It's been Carey, Graham, and now Strano. Her develop that part of her game. She's a big, fast bowler for New Zealand, but... Uh, can show the big lusty blows at the end. Through the defences. Well, it was an attacking defence there from Lauren Smith. She needed to go big, trying to uh, find the boundary for the team. Trying to have a go there, at, you know, a little ag agricultural, but uh, at the same time, at this time of the game, you've got to try something. And uh, unfortunately for the Thunder, the Hurricanes are well on top at the moment. Heather Graham in her first game for the Hobart Hurricanes finishes it off with a win and a wicket. Brilliant start for her in the purple. Wonderful start for the Hobart Hurricanes and WBBL 08 getting the win over the Sydney Thunder. The, the fielding has also been excellent from, from the Hurricanes today. They, they really made sure that they were taking all their catches by that one drop from... Uh...